minorities. We must punish those who kill because of skin color or sexual orientation. But wait, murder is already a punishable offense. So hate crime laws aren't punishing the act, but the thought. But the state shouldn't be allowed to decide what are appropriate thoughts. The persecuted minorities need our protection. But we must keep the state out of our heads. I don't know. Could it be that not everything is black and white? That we all must, from time to time, listen to opposing points of view? I don't know. I don't know. Eh, what the heck. He lost. Jimmy, he took a dive. He lost. I couldn't be more. Just give me a second. Turn away. And justice is served. Sort of. I think. No, it is. It's okay. Good job, me. Gotta hand it to you, Petey. You stood up to everyone, including me. Even scarier than that, your mother. But in the end, you came through and you cheated. For the family. I just realized that, as Khan said, there's a moral shade of gray in which we all must consider how other people- Hey, we don't really care about the thought process. We're proud, so just leave it there and shut up. Petey, I never doubted you. You're my big brother, and I always count on you to do the right thing. So I bet on you to win, you dumb wop. Every penny I had. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our story. Pretty good, huh? But if you think that's the only story we got, us Falcones, living as McDougals, in the great municipality of Vagina, well, forget about it! Daddy, that's such a cheesy ending. I'm just trying to get him back for next week. 